All right, guys, welcome back to another battery video. Uh, I know we have a lot of these, but we got another battery sent to us. This is a Bluetooth model, so this is gonna be my first Bluetooth battery. Uh, this is from Watt Cycle. This is a 100 uh, amp hour mini. Uh, I love the size of these. Uh, this is a little bit different from the line time. It's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit wider, but it's shorter, which I, I really like. It fits in the box better, so you need to put three batteries in that box to do a 36 volt. Uh, this will fit perfectly for that uh, Yak Attack box, the 16 by 16. So let's go ahead and give a quick measurement just to see how exactly what the dimensions are. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. All right, so. All right, guys, so the length. The length of this battery is nine inches. The height of this battery is about eight point eight and a half. And the width is five point oh, five and uh, almost five and a half. So again, nine by five and a half by eight and a half so that's the dimension of this battery uh, let's get a quick i did charge this battery already let's see what the voltage is at full charge so that's the thing with this battery. A full charge is 132. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm I'm losing voltage on this battery. When I charged it, it was 13.7. That was like two hours ago. Now it's 132. So I don't know if it's losing charge due to the Bluetooth. I don't know, but I'll have to ask ask them and see what's going on. And the width is five of oh five and uh almost five and a half so again nine by five and a half by eight and a half so that's the dimension of this battery so i have not used this battery yet i just charged it uh, it was 37 earlier when I charged it. It's currently now at full charge 13.2. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm going to have to take a look at that and see what's going on with that. Let's get the weight on it. So it is 22 pound. All right. So let's get the weight on this battery. So this one is 22 pound. So this is a Bluetooth battery. So let's down the app and show you guys how to install it real quickly. So the app is BMS Meta. BMS Meta. Let's go ahead and download that. Open that. Allow to use Bluetooth. So I'm guessing this thing that pop up is the battery. Connect to it. So it is 100% charge according to the app. Uh, current voltage is 3.4. So that's it with the app. Uh, it's installed, it's connected, it's showing 100%. This is the Walt Cycle 12 volt 100 amp hour mini. I'm gonna go ahead and install it and use it for my graph. Let's see how it does this weekend. I do have a big tournament coming up. It's a three day tournament, two uh, different tournaments. So we'll see how it works. Hopefully it lasts us on the water. If it doesn't, I'll bring an extra battery just in case, but uh, stay tuned for that guys. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for you guys. All right, so what the box that we're gonna use it for is this. So we're going to use the same box that we use for our, our graph. All 
right. So let's go ahead and install this. You might wonder why my uh, negative my power switch, but you ever bought a, a, a you ever bought a SE SAE plug? Sometimes they come in reverse if you don't check carefully. That's the reason why. Let's go ahead and tighten it down. All right. So that's it for my battery setup. Just lay this down. It's a lot better. It's a lot smaller than my line time. So I do have extra room here. Put this foam in the front so it doesn't move back and forth. Foam the side as well. Right, be good enough and not to move. So I do have some uh, extra of these, so let me put it in. These are just the foam that come in the box and the packaging of the battery. So I use it to help secure the battery in place. There we go. That's a lot smaller than our old setup. Close perfectly as well. Let's go ahead and make sure there's power. Thirteen point one now, so. I don't know what's going on, but uh, that's how it works. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for on the video test, and then we'll get test back once we get off the water. So after a full day of fishing, let's see what our voltage is at with the app. And connect to it again. So voltage is still currently at 13.2. So it looks like it dropped 0.1 volt. It's at 60%, 64%. So that was a two graphs in the light school box, which is the uh, GLX 10. So that's pretty good. So it looks like we could do two days of tournament fishing without charging this battery. It would be just fine. So I'm going to go and try that tomorrow since I have another uh, tournament day tomorrow and we'll check it again. Hey, stay tuned, guys. All right. Alright guys, so it's the second day using the battery without charging it. We're gonna go ahead and check what the readings is at. We just got home. Let's connect it back to the app. So after two days of using it with two Garmin 106 SV and a life scope box, the voltage is still sitting at 13 point 13 volts. It is at 29%, so it's going to last us two days without being charged. That sh that is good for me to know, so that way I won't have to worry about it. So that that's what it is, guys. The app works. Just, so far, the battery is great. At first, when I uh, charged it, 
and I tested when I first got it. Uh, the voltage seemed kind of low to me, but it stayed uh, 13.3 pretty much most of the time. So if you guys are looking for a affordable uh, lithium battery, 100 amp with a smart <coughs> a smart app on it, a Bluetooth smart app on it, uh, take a look at the Watt Psycho, guys. The Watt Psycho. So far, so good. I approve. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video.